Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we are talking about the easiest way to increase the value of any printed t-shirt. That's right, multiple print locations. Not only do multiple print locations add to the look of your printed shirt, but it could also lead to a higher retail price tag for just a tiny bit more work on your end. Now, since it's springtime, we're gonna be using some baseball spirit wear and fan gear as our example here today, but any market niche or apparel style could benefit from these additional locations. And using screen printed transfer gang sheets, it's barely going to raise your print cost at all. Are you ready to take your apparel and your profits to the next level? Let's get right to it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We are kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Now for baseball or any sport, Spirit Wear is an awesome opportunity to sell merchandise for any team, from the big leagues to the little leagues. Now with school, Little League and Community Sports, you also have the opportunity to do some customization for moms, dads, and family members who want to show their team pride. Now this customization could be incredibly profitable, and by adding that personalization, you could boost the retail price of the printed shirt. Selling and decorating on-site at games or tournaments could also be a great opportunity to bring in all that extra revenue too. For our example today, we're going to be printing on some raglan tees for our baseball gear. Now these are the Port & Company Core Blend line. It's the PC55RS, an incredibly affordable option for a three-quarter sleeve raglan with a surprisingly awesome quality and finish to it. Now we have the navy and white colorway to match the navy and white of the team that we're gonna be printing for, but Port & Company offers more than seven different colorways, including some awesome Heather styles on this as well. Once we know what we're going to be printing on, it's time to get our design set up on a gang sheet to print. Now we're gonna be using our goof proof screen printed transfers, which are just packed with tons of value. Not only are they real deal screen printed Plastisol inks that wash, wear, and feel like a real screen printed shirt, but they are ordered by the sheet. So whatever you could fit on the sheet ships for the same price. And with our new jumbo size, you could pack even more profit power onto them. Let's head on over to transferexpress.com and we will get started. Here in the Easy View Online Designer, you could upload your own designs in almost any file format. You could design your own right here with clip art, text, and all the effect controls, or use one of the thousands of pre-made customizable layouts. So let's just click on over to layout to use one of the pre-made layouts, and we'll search here for baseball using the categories uh, that you see on this left hand side. You could also use the search bar at the top too. So let's start with this layout here, QBA336. We'll just swap the team name out to Broncos and then do some simple ink color changes to make this ready for our project. You can see size at 11 inches wide. It's taken up a good bit of space here on our standard sized gang sheet that you could see with this dotted line on our artboard. But clicking on the size options down at the bottom left of the screen allows us to select Jumbo, the larger 12 and a half by 17 and a half sheets. Now we've got a lot more real estate for our sheet. We could fill this entire sheet with a, a different version for the same team, because it's always nice to have two different styles, right? It helps sell more spirit wear, that's for sure. So we could easily design a logo using some clip art of say like this Bronco here, and then just some simple clean and classic text. We throw this little palm tree underneath and put the league information in red. Now to make this easy, Easy View Online Designer will actually show you the ink colors that you have in use at the bottom of the ink selection panel so you don't have to scroll or guess to find the colors that you already have on the sheet. Now that we've got two full fronts on our sheet, let's add some back prints and some jersey style branded tags for that lower left front placement. Now we could use layout QBA339 and customize it for our baseball tournament here. 
recoloring and swapping some of the clip art and text out, and then we could use shirt tag layout QTG13 as the starting point for our apparel company, where we'll swap in their information and some logos for them. Using text and clip art, we are just ready to roll. Now we can easily duplicate out items to the sheet and bam, now we have two full shirts with a front and back print as well as that athletic style branded print. Now this is what we are talking about, adding value. A gang sheet here is all set up with all of our artwork grouped all on one page. With just a few clicks, we could set our quantity, review our details, and check out. Now before we check out, it's worth a note that at 24 quantity, and with this two color goof proof screen print, we're just over $6 per sheet, bringing the total cost of printing for each one of these shirts to just $3.20. Or when you divide it by those print locations, it's just over a buck per print. Talk about profits. Now, once our transfers arrive, we are ready to get printing. All we have to do is cut the items out from our gang sheets and organize them for each shirt. Now printing them is just as easy, if not easier, than designing and setting up your gang sheets. So let's pop on back to our heat press and print some shirts. Now that we're back here at our Hotronics 16 by 20 auto open clamshell press, we'll make sure that we're all set up to print our goof proof screen printed transfers. We'll just make sure that our temperature is set to 365 degrees, that we have a four to six second application time, we're right in the middle at five, and our dual stage timer is at five as well. Of course, we'll want to pre-press to remove any moisture from our garment. First step is going to be, we're going to print our fronts. Now we already have everything all cut out, so we don't have to worry about our graphics. We already have them organized. We're just going to go ahead and load our shirt onto the heat press. I'm just going to pull it all the way down and ensure that we're nice and centered, and then roll it back. So we're keeping the majority of the collar and all those seams off of the printing area. Just a little bit here on the corners is going to be A-OK, -okay, and it shouldn't interfere with our pressure all too much. But once we're happy with that, we'll just go ahead and hold this down for four, maybe five seconds, just removing any of that moisture from that cotton content. Once we're ready to go, we'll go ahead and grab our first print. Now this is just the center chest graphic, so we'll go ahead and center it on up right here onto our shirt and we're gonna be about three fingers down from the collar. So I could just move this up just a tiny bit more and seeing where the ink starts on the transfer carrier is right about where that first line is on the grid. And we're exactly at three fingers down from the collar. Just another assessment to make sure that we are lined up nice and straight to the sides of the platen. And it looks like we are all set. So we'll go ahead and just print this. Four to six seconds for goof proof and a hot peel makes this so super quick. Once the press opens, we'll peel the transfer carrier away immediately, and there you have it, a screen printed shirt. Next up, after we have our front printed, we're gonna do this front print for that branding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this on down, and so we don't have to cover our print, just get it off of the platen, and I'm actually gonna rotate this down until we get to this crease where the seam is right underneath the armpit, and I wanna align this transfer right close to that side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line this down, kinda of see it up in there, and uh, about a quarter inch to a half inch away from this bottom uh, seam here. Now this bottom seam is very flat on this garment. I'm not worried about it affecting pressure at all, even though we are printing close up to it. So we'll go ahead and just print this one right here. That was the same application with a hot peel, and there you have it. Awesome little jersey tag right down there at the bottom. Now that we are all set with our front print, we'll just go ahead and pull this off, and we're gonna do that back print for the tournament that we designed as well. So right up here, load it back on exactly like how we did it that first time, ensuring we're all the way on so we can see how centered we are and make sure that everything looks good down on the body of the shirt as well, not just on the shoulders. So we'll roll this off again to get the collar off and a lot of these seams off the printing area. Um, we might even have to go a little bit more on top of this because I don't want that back print getting down too far. I'm going to grab this 
final print that we're gonna put on this shirt for the Carolina Classic. Now, one trick, if you wanted to save time with your cutting uh, and it's not necessarily even, is you could just hold this up to the light and you could see where the ink actually is. So we'll see that the ink lines up together and then just crease the transfer at the top and bottom. So now we have a center line on our print. We'll go ahead and put that down right here, squared up on the center of our shirt. We're gonna do this one just another three fingers down from the collar. So we have to pull this one up a little bit more because our three fingers is about right there. So there you go. Once we are happy with the placement, we'll go ahead and press this one just like we did after a pre-press. Our final hot peel is gonna give us our back screen print right there on our shirt. Once we are all done printing here, we're just gonna take our shirt off the press and there you have it, a beautiful screen print on the back and over on the front side, we've got that center chest print as well and even that bottom jersey hit here on the Raglan, making this look super pro and retail ready. But when we talk about retail ready, there's one more step that we should add on to it, and that, of course, is putting a hang tag on our shirt. And we have both versions here that we printed on our gang sheet, both with those lower left placements and the center chest. But this is the final step to making this a retail ready shirt. We have our hang tag right here, matching that logo on the bottom of the shirt. We'll grab our hang tag gun. You can buy these off Amazon for super cheap, and then we'll just go ahead and hang tag it. One last aspect to really take this one over the top is to combine it, say, with uh, some printed headwear and just use a rubber band to put it all together. Once we're happy with that, all we do is just group it together with our hat right here, take our rubber band, loop it all around, and there you go. You've just increased the value even more with a t-shirt, a hat, all bundled together for say what, 35 or 40 bucks, and you are just rolling in the profit retail. Are you printing merch, fan gear, or spirit wear for any teams this year? Let us know if you have your own tips and tricks or even pricing strategies or anything down in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe here to our Transfer Express YouTube. We're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.